Alright guys, back out of here again, right where we left off. Nothing's changed. Hope you guys are having a great day. Let's get right into it. We are going to change this from a cube trigger toggle on, for an animation to a trigger area. So the player will have to do nothing but enter a designated area and the animation will play. So we are going to keep this just like it is. And we're going to copy this door, control D. Move it over. We're going to get rid of that. So we have a the same door with an animator, but nothing else. So let's create a new controller for this object. Call this one door 2. Go back to our door. Assign it. Okay, so the next thing we're going to need is another cube. Let's copy this one, move it over. We're going to, again, set this to none. So it's a blank cube with an Udon behavior, but no Udon script. Okay, so we are gonna go to our VR chat examples. Under materials, you're gonna see trigger mat area. Drag and drop that onto this so it gives us a nice little look here. Go back to the uh, box and select is trigger is true. That means uh, basically it's a trigger. Um, so when they walk through it, it'll be walk throughable instead of solid. And let's make our script. New program, open Udon graph. Let's drag our variable in. I have to name this door two. And door trigger two. Okay. Let's grab the animator. and start getting our nodes. So the first one we're gonna want is on player enter and on player exit. All right, now we are gonna want an animator object. And we're going to want set bool. Two of those. So control D to copy. Change these to string. And we're going to use the same value name as our last one. I don't think we'll have any issues with that. Connect our noodles or our lines, whatever you'd like to call them. Just click, uh, make sure the value is clicked on the top node. And that looks good to me for the moment until we start testing things. So let's go back to our scene, go to here. Let's make a, let's not forget our state is open, go to the animation tab and let's start animating it. Close two, property, rotation, same as last time. We're gonna leave it blank again, create new clip, open two. Add property, transform, rotation. Record icon to record the actual movement. Let's go to the rotate tool. Go ahead and rotate this exactly like we did last time. Stop recording. Play, let's see it. Okay. Let's delete, click on these nodes and delete that. 
then we should have the same thing we did last time. So let's go to our animator tab again. Create our transitions from each node. Click on the arrows, set the condition to true for the bottom arrow and false to the top for the top. Okay, so let's click on our door trigger. Door two as the public variable animator. We have the script assigned, the public variable assigned, and the door animated with the controller. Our state machine looks good. Let's test that. Okay, so we can see how there's a weird delay here and I can't spam it. We forgot to remove the has exit time. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's test it. Okay, with our world loaded up, let's go find our cube and our door and try it. Oop. And it looks like that works. Sweet. So obviously we will not want this uh, rendered to add uh, to the feel. So let's go ahead and do that. Simply uncheck the mesh render and it should now be invisible. And let's test that out in game. All right, here's our door and our invisible trigger area. There we go. In the next video, we're gonna add uh, a detection event. So whenever somebody enters this area, clicks this button, anything like that, clicks this button, whatever it may be, they uh, get, if they're using VR um, handsets, like ha for your hands, they will uh, have a vibrating haptic event if they have that enabled, which will just add to a little bit of the feel. So it'll feel like you're actually clicking something, a little bit of feedback. Uh, we'll do that in the next video. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you have a great day. And if it was helpful, if you had any problems, anything like that, let me know in the comments below. I'll try to get back to you with help. Or um, if it was helpful and it worked perfectly, leave me a like so I know I'm doing something right. Later guys.